Hey guys, today I'm doing a house tour because we're moving out of this house. We have lived here for around 4 years and we bought this house when we were pretty young. So along the way, I've definitely learned a few things. So not just like a house tour, this is like a real house. So it's not going to be the neatest. And I'm also going to be giving you tips that I've learned. So you can actually have some takeaway from this video, I hope. We're going to begin with the main door over here. This is our main door which we had painted matte black. Going on over here, this is a colourful clock that we actually brought over from his room. So we've had it for a while. He had it way before we even met, so it's a good 10 years. And then just a frame, and this is actually a Lego thing that he built. Where you're supposed to put your keys on it, but we never actually use it because our keys are always in the back. And then this one is a picture that he got from his friend. He bought it because it was the friend's first ever photography work, I think. So this just stays here. I think it's Hong Kong, not too sure. And then over here, my husband really likes Legos. So on top of this cabinet, we have some Legos. There is Stormtrooper and this Chinese New Year one. And Chinese New Year is coming, so actually we just keep it out 365 days. And then we have Darth Vader, and this is the Chinese tree that he made himself, Mandarin orange trees. And then we just have it on this marble plate, which we actually have a lot more in our pantry. And then he had this acrylic case customized. And over here is actually a gift from his friend where we got married and it's Lego Us. It's so cute and I love that it comes with a box. <laughs> and then over here we just have like a little cat clip. So sometimes I'll leave like little notes for him. This is just one of the party favours that we gave out at our wedding. And below is actually this cabinet. This cabinet, I'm really not sure if we're bringing it with us to the next house because it came with us from his house and it is so old. I don't know whether it can survive another move, but I love it. Actually, like the shelf inside is also kind of broken, but this is um, from his mom, so that's why it has special meaning to us. This one over here is just a dry cabinet, which is stuffed full of different cameras. And then let's move on over here. This shelving... Oh, we just installed it only and then now we're gonna try and pluck out everything and move as much as we can along with us. I'm pretty sure it's from the brand, the name starts with V, <laughs> that's all I can remember. It's supposed to be bookshelf and I really like it because he really likes it. <laughs> and then this one is actually our balcony. We had this blackout curtains made in Malaysia like custom sized to not be sweeping the floor and yeah, I can. I guess I can recommend to you to make that. Oh, I recommend you to make blackout curtains because these are actually turning brown on the other side from the sunlight. When you live here, you just really need blackout curtains. And then another tip for you is just don't bother with a balcony. This is seriously just wasted space. Never ever go out there. It's included inside like the square foot of the house, but it's actually not a useful space. I really like this view. The other apartments here are actually facing the sea, but I grew up in a house that I could see the sea, so to me that is like not special at all. But this part is like swimming pool and it's simply like living in a tree house because there's still like this neighbor over here, but mostly when I look out the window I see trees, it kind of feels like resort Bali and I'm gonna miss this view a lot. Also, before we actually bought a house, I was like, oh yeah, I would love to have like floor to ceiling windows. Oh yes, I love balcony. No, just like my tip to you is if you are living in Singapore, then don't bother with floor to ceiling windows. It's too hot unless you want to have your AC on the whole time. <laughs> This table over here is from IKEA. Well, most of our furniture is from IKEA because if you're in Singapore, where else can you buy it from? We simply just got everything from IKEA when we first moved in and they kind of do last, I feel. This table, well, it lasted. It is uh, meant to fit like underneath this sofa, so it's made perfectly for that. So I recommend this, but you have to know one thing is that the glass, I actually had to blue tag it because it would just uh, come out very easily. And let me show you the scratches on the floor. It's made by that table over here. So just be careful about that. And this sofa, we actually also got it from IKEA. They no longer sell this cushion cover anymore. Maybe because it's uh, very durable. I don't know. I washed it so many times, but it's still fine. So just that. Just take note, you can choose whatever cushion cover you want, but they might go out of stock. And then over here, this is Greeny. This is Beans from Muji. Don't buy that, waste of your money. And then this one is Koini and his baby, oh, her baby. And this one is something that we won in Korea. We, we were invited by a TV show to just play a game in a market. And the game was to string coins through 
a string in the dead of winter without gloves. So my husband won first prize and I won the last one. And that's why the different sizes. This mat is also from Ikea, very durable, recommend you to buy. I have the small one over here for him to wipe his feet when he comes home. Okay, just ignore that Ikea back there. Well, obviously we love Ikea. Alright, so artwork. This one is just the one in the sofa corner, I guess. And these yellow ones, we actually had it, where's my finger? We had it made when we went to London. Like London has this mosaic machine thing. I don't know whether they have it in Singapore. I'm pretty sure they haven't brought it in Singapore yet. So we really like that. And this is just a series of, I don't know. And then this one is actually from Ikea also. They sell it by one, but we bought six and then we made it into like a shoe cabinet, I'm guessing, because we have this little nook here, which if you are Chinese, you know, is to put all those like ancestral table, but we are still young, so we don't have that. <laughs> and let me just show you. Uh, I guess I recommend it to you. Uh, we had a contractor put it on and it sucked. There's like space here. And there's a lot of space here. What I did is I used super glue and I just I just shove it against the wall, and it works. So it opens like that. This is actually his. The top two is his, and then the bottom four is mine. Well, he doesn't complain about it. And actually, we this is all like the shoes that we're currently wearing. The brand new backup shoes are all in our own closet in our own rooms. And then not bad, I think can fit like five pairs of shoes. This poster over here is funny because it looks black on black, like just a plain piece of paper. But when you see it, there's actually a lot of like F words and stuff. But everyone who finally realizes it always wondered and laughed about it because they say, oh, I thought it was just like black paper. This table over here, obviously this is a real house and I didn't clean it up because he just told me we were moving yesterday. So I'm just trying to get stuff done before I have to start packing. Uh, this table is actually custom made, like he bought this piece of marble, I want to say like $3,000 and then he cut it to the shape and like the parts that he wanted, uh, which is this one whole piece. Then if you go down, it's actually just sitting on this black leg. And then we have construction over here outside uh, for the train station, so this table which is super heavy is always shaking, but it's super heavy so it's not going to collapse, I hope. And I don't think we're going to be bringing it, so take it all in, I'm going to look at this image many times because we really love this table but we can't move it and these are just some cavalry chairs we have this transparent one which i really enjoy and this black one because last time he had like a huge shipment and i think mostly were white and gold but then there were a few of these other colors so we brought this home and they do not look comfortable but they're actually pretty comfortable over here again we have these curtains and then this is just like the other part of the balcony it's like those long rectangle one and over here, we just put some white tables outside, obviously from Ikea. Well, one thing I'm not going to miss about this balcony is that when it rains, it leaks in through here. So no matter how I clean it, dust and rain just keeps coming in. Uh, but before we knew that, we made it into an outdoor kitchen. So this is not really called a balcony, but more called a cooking room. Moving back over here, this is my robot vacuum, which I never really use anymore. And then, oh, I always sit here. Oh, I love my Yeti cup. I got it off uh, online and I had it for a long while. And then this is just a vase that he had made shortly after we got married. Now we're moving on to, I want to say, the dry kitchen area. And this wall is just full of all these, like, pictures. Uh, don't know where they are from. But the man's face, that one, is actually a famous chef. Uh, Italian, I'm guessing. And then it's just before we even got married, we went for a uh, dinner by him. So, yeah, okay. Moving on, that is the kitchen and we're going to go into the kitchen later on. But da -da, this like over here is actually, they sell it by one, but we just bought three of them in a row. And I don't know whether you can tell, but it is not even, the right side is longer, but oh, I guess you call it a quirk of this house. So we bought this before they became very trendy. I guess they are still in trend now. So they're very bright. So that's good, I guess. <laughs> and then over here, it's just like this tea cabinet. At first, we started out with one. And then he said, oh, is this enough? And then uh, we expanded to two. And that is just all his tea. Not going to open that because that is his stuff. Over here, we have a neighbor ring condo. And I always see like an orange light on one of the floors over there. So it's like... You know, I don't know who the person is, but like, well, I'm gonna miss this person because the, the whole building is always dark except for this one house over, over here. So over here, the curtains we had made to just, you know, fit the window only, so it's not to the floor. And this is a kitchen island that we had made in Ikea. I do not recommend you to do it. This cost over 3000 I think. 
and it's just stupid like just buy whatever they have it there we bought like customize everything like panel the worktop everything is customizable even the legs and let me just show you because we are definitely not going to pry this from the wall and bring it this one over here is just his tea cabinet again and we have all these like little hooks that we chose they look very minimalistic and nice but one warning to you is if you want to choose this then you have to be prepared to have holes in your shirt because they always pull my shirt and this one, this one over here always pull my shirt so I have a lot of shirts with hope simply because of this and inside when we first moved here we bought like cutleries and the way my husband buy cutleries is like if a plate has different sizes he'll buy like 12 of it we never ever use it because it's just two of us so yeah but they have all these kind of things you know you can customize you can make it pull out and it's like soft clothes and we bought this thing over here you know everybody has this well that's good actually I would recommend you buy that this one is also soft clothes and yeah that's it and this one is quartz i'm pretty sure not bad it doesn't really stain so i recommend you if you want to use it for like a dry pantry because uh, on, with water you wipe it off it doesn't stain it that was the living area and this one over here is the kitchen door i really like that you can see through it and we also had it painted matte, matte black okay let's go into the kitchen uh, there really isn't much in the kitchen and we had it half finished so this is the ugly floor which you know is actually fine because it's smooth very easy to clean and then we just have it like half concrete i mean we were fine with it so we're just calling it concrete but it's actually like unfinished <laughs> okay let's move on to this one over here first so this door is actually the door to the pantry i'm gonna open it but it's going to be quite loud this is how the pantry looks like and it is pretty much stuffed full another tip that i recommend to you is ugh, get this rack because they're really good they're from ikea we bought this rack from ikea and i'm pretty sure we bought the white rack also from ikea and as you can see this is all the kitchen stuff and it is stuffed full so those are all going to go somewhere probably not gonna move all of them we have another shelf here and it goes all the way to the floor so not bad you can store a lot of like high things like his sous vide machine can fit inside and this one over here is from bangkok it's supposed to be like a vinyl record holder box obviously we don't use that for that we just bought it because he really liked it and then it's just sitting inside our pantry <laughs> i used to use it for decoration though but it was like a hassle to move it around there's two of them in this like orange color very vintage and we bought it from like a vintage shop so it was either 800 or like I can't remember, I don't think it was like 3000 but I remember it was something ridiculous. Our next house definitely will not have a pantry which I'm fine with. And this one is just all his kitchen equipment, like this one is the vacuum sealer thing. This is actually a box for, I'm guessing this guy, but then the measurements cutting was wrong. So this is now just like a marble box table. <laughs> and then this one is the combi oven, I'm really not sure. This one is another fridge oven. And then over here, he had this uh, fan installed, which is pretty good. Uh, honestly, I think you should install it in your kitchen or in your toilet. And then over here, this is the sink. If you can customize your sink, because we actually customized this sink. This is a pretty good idea, but if you can, I will say, make it just a long one and like don't have this barrier in the middle. That would be a better idea for you. This is another one of those racks. It's pretty empty. Like I just put like detergent down there. But it's really good, I really like it. And then just like washer and dryer. And these are the two fridges which I think we are probably going to only leave one here and move one to a restaurant. We definitely only have like one fridge in the next house, I'm guessing. And it's going to be like a smaller fridge, which you know we will survive. We really don't need something so big and just like our magnets where we travel to. Moving on over here, you can see the little pickup point. So whenever there's cars honking, you just look down and you know that they are from here and then this one is actually like a yard area it has this like irritating door if you get a door please don't get this door it's freaking difficult to dust moving on to the yard and then it comes with a rubbish chute so i guess most houses nowadays all come with a rubbish chute like my mom's house the old old kind of house the rubbish chute is outside so then you can see the construction here and this is just a washroom which we had uh redone but we never ever use it so yeah literally flushing money down the drain this is how it looks like very ugly it's super clean though because never been used and then this over here is like what other people will use as a maid room but it's to us it's just like a storeroom because we do not engage a helper 
and as you can see I have boxes of stock over here which one day I have to process after we move and move again and it's just a lot of like backups like detergent backups uh, toilet paper and stuff so it's just like a storeroom but I'm quite glad that it's still quite empty because we cleared out a lot of the things already and then this rack over here reeling I think I'm really going to bring it along with us because I had it installed very easily without any nails it's just like two sides you know propped against the wall and so far it hasn't dropped down yet so I think I would want to bring that and please comment and tell me if this looks like a shower curtain too much like a shower curtain because I like it I'm thinking if I could use it like a video backdrop and then over here oh now don't have but like there's always birds living here a bird's nest and then you can see that is the train station which is quite sad because the side gate is that side so we're very near to the train station it's literally beside us but uh, by the time it's built we will be out of this house okay back in the living room area now we're gonna move on to the walkway that we have over here which leads to the bedrooms and this one over here okay we had our toilet redone and obviously matte black door <laughs> And we chose this towel which was very reminiscent of um, his towels in his toilet back at his house. And I really like it, which is quite sad. But I think we're going to do something to the toilet too. Uh, I recommend this if you want like a very neutral toilet that you won't get sick of. This is quite a nice design. So when you go inside, this is our like uh, common bathroom. Yeah, so it's obviously like smaller. And oh, I'm gonna miss this over here. I remember there was this number that the contractor wrote and he never erased it. Oh, it's up here. It's so funny. I don't think you can see it, but there's like numbers there. And one day, <laughs> I always thought to myself, one day I'll erase it. Obviously, I didn't. And then we just installed like a um, glass shower. This is good because it actually keeps the water out. So, you know, an idea if you are interested. And then we installed this like rain shower and oh this is like a total experience because last time when we were picking out all this like uh, bathroom furnishing that's when we discovered this kind of hidden pipe because we were going to redo the walls right so you can actually choose if you want hidden pipe so we did that and you know it's this house has a lot of memories a lot of like our first times and we picked this rain shower which i only used once so <laughs> i don't know whether my husband ever did or not another one of this floor mat over here I really think they're pretty good and then we just have a mirror over here and oh this marble thing which I bought from China I think I'm going to bring it with us it just fits in everywhere so you know this is also quartz again marble top but they don't really stain so not bad I recommend that to you and then we had this custom made cupboard over here which you know just stores a few things Walking out of the bathroom, we have this over here which we also just hung up. So I don't think we're gonna pry it from the wall, probably just leave it here and I'll just buy him a new one again if he wants it. It's for him to like pull up bar. And over here, this I really like this bright door which you will see later why I'm talking about this bright door. The doors inside the room are not the nicest. And then this one is just like a giant storage. And I remember last time when we first bought this house, there was no doors. That's why we had this white color door customized. This is like a place that I never ever go into. It's just a lot of spare stuff, like a skateboard, lighting and pipes, extra things. We are definitely not going to have this kind of space again when we move, which is fine because we definitely need to kind of like pare down what we have. And see, we have these racks again, so I definitely recommend it to you. Just at the top, it's just all these luggages and it's quite gross. Well, gross in my mind, but not actually gross in reality. This actually connects up to the top of the house. So it's just a bit creepy uh, because it's like open and I can't clean it, but there's like nothing there. <laughs> And then we just stuffed full a lot of his board games that he likes. Oh, this boy over here was actually hanging above our Ikea shoe cupboard at the door, but he dropped three times. So we just gave up. Oh, let me tell you why he dropped. He dropped because of the construction right outside this window. And oh, we're gonna miss this wall. This wall split from this other wall. You can see the crack because of the construction. Oh, and at the back, at the balcony, there's actually a window that's cracked because of the construction. <laughs> Just all these things that, you know, you notice about your house because you stay here for a while. So let me show you the other side. I use it as like a cleaning cupboard because I store like the Dyson and the broom and all these things over here. I really like that idea. <laughs> Now let us go into the bedroom first, which is the first room and I think it's the biggest room, yeah. So over here, 
This laundry bag is from IKEA. We had it way before we moved here, so I want to say, wow, well, nine years. And it holds up, so okay, I recommend to you. And this cupboard, oh, we had it done at IKEA again. It probably cost a couple thousands again, but I think it's worth it. And it's like last time when we first moved in here, IKEA charged it. Charged? What kind of English is that? Charged for every single thing, like every single nut that they drill into the wall, every single little plasticky white colour thing that you adhere to the wall, they charge. But now I don't think they do it anymore, so it's a lot better deal if you want to customise and get these kind of things. And obviously the black colour side is his, and then I just chose like a full length mirror for my side. Cha cha, you can see me. Okay, I'm gonna show you because uh, when you customise, you can customise the things inside. So this is um, soft clothes, you can customise that. We did a shelving up there because, you know, what you're gonna do is so high up, which is quite useless because nobody can reach it. <laughs> and then we just did for him this kind of things so that I can put hanging and I can put his shirt like that. So really depends on your personal preference. And for his, we did like a series of drawers and they are soft, soft clothes. And of course, <laughs> three drawers are his and the bottom drawer is mine because my things spill out from the other side. Let me close it and show you this side. Okay, the thing is, you must take note, you can only, you must make sure one side is closed before you open the other side. If not, they will bang against each other. And I really like this. We are definitely leaving this closet, obviously, but I'm going to miss this closet because I customized it to be two hanging rods so that I can have most of my clothes hanging up. And then I only have one drawer over here. Also, if you get a chance to customize it without this railing here, it will be great because that's just irritating to see. And you know, you can't even see your outfit properly. And then this chair, again, from Ikea, is a set which comes with his footstool and then he just wanted it inside the bedroom because we had this empty space here anyway. So there's many different colours. I think this is like uh, $200, but he sits in it. This lighting is also from Ikea. And also this dark grey colour. <laughs> so the head kind of moves, and then he has like a smaller one in his study room. This one over here is I just push him down like that and use him as a bedside table. They are just tofu men. I have another one on the other side. This is like a figurine that he was collecting and he was collecting this for like I think 15 years or so. And then we finally opened it up. And this bed frame is also from Ikea. Wow. <laughs> Apparently Ikea took all our money. And uh, it's just like dark color wood. Uh, it survived so it's worth it. And it has this leather cushion here which very easy to wipe down. I actually use like Dyson to vacuum it too and it's clipped behind to the back. So I like this bed. I recommend you to buy beds from Ikea. We'll probably buy our next bed from Ikea and I just did laundries. And then this fan, we bought it from Cots like just a while ago but I don't know whether we're gonna move it or not. And uh, it's actually like a very, you know there are fans that are customised for just bedroom sleeping so that there's no sound. But I'm those kind who I will pluck out the whole thing and I'll wipe it down and I'll vacuum it and I'll really clean it and then I put it back in and I feel like it's making sound. <laughs> but the husband hasn't said anything yet so I guess it's good. And over here we have this kind of view, law. And this is another tofu man there. Okay, moving on to the master bathroom and this is the master bathroom door because it really just fits in with the team but I would not recommend you get this door. It's a sliding door so it doesn't lock and when one of us is showering in the morning or at night, the other one can see the light very clearly. So maybe just get like a normal door. <laughs> and we had this customised also, this cabinet over here is a long one so I can store a lot of things inside which is a very good idea. And this one is again quartz and we chose this uh, sink for the master bedroom bathroom because we knew that we had this long counter space and it's uh, unique. It's whatever, I guess if you want to be a bit unique, you can go with that. And then he had this like full mirror over here made which I think is a great idea if you are looking to redo your bathroom. And then just you know towel racks and also a glass shower. And I'm really gonna miss this wall, I think it's a nice wall. <laughs> Okay, moving on, this is his room, his office, and I try not to touch his stuff, so I try not to come in here often, which is why you can see there's a lot of paper on the floor, but you know, you don't touch the other person's stuff. And his room is actually just made kind of like a library because he's very into books. This is the cupboard I was talking about. He's fine with it, but I think it's super ugly because they're not white color, 
they're this like disgusting faded orange yellow so I try not to show it in my videos and then he's very into all these kind of posters so initially when we first moved here we only started out with these two billy cabinets over here these two over here which you can customize you can customize the door how much like glass you want it to have and I think each unit is around 600 which obviously we got done at IKEA uh, I would recommend this to you because we really needed a solution and this was the solution for his books which works well and tall books can fit inside also like you see he also display like things like photo frames and they have a gap you, as you can see so dust still gets in but not as much okay and then let me turn you to the other side after that we added one on that side and two more on this side which is so sad because we just added this recently and now we are going to just leave it here and then over here this is his working table we went to this place in New York and it just reminds us whenever you look at that photo and this is just his desk oh this one is from Muji and I think it's ridiculously expensive but he really likes it so if you like this kind of like Japanese simple thing you can go to Muji <laughs> Before we go to the last room, over here we have another little walkway and just some frames over here. This is like a Star Wars series, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure, I'm probably thinking that he will want to take this. And we had all the doors painted matte black, which is one of my favorite parts of this house. And then we just have more frames over here. And this one is my beauty room, which honestly might not be the smartest choice. Because the pool is downstairs. So when I film, I have to like really grab the opportunity, the correct timing. All the dogs and all the kids are here. And you can hear them screaming because we're not very far off from the pool. And over here, uh, let me just show you the view first. It's so pretty. I really like the view even though it's not the sea, which everybody seems to prefer in this apartment complex. And over here is the barbecue pit. So Sundays, no filming because it's Filipino music. Okay, let me just show you this one over here. Uh, this is just a rod that we had installed last time and then it isn't straight. I don't know whether you can tell now, but chalking it up to a quirk of this house. I'm definitely going to remove this and then I just hung this lace curtain here, which I really enjoy. But it hasn't been in the videos as much as this little one over here. And this one is just like a palm tree. It's actually shower curtain, which I bought off Taobao. See, uh, I actually bought it to try to cover as much of the yellow of the cabinet as much as possible. Obviously, you can see I feel terribly. And I almost hit someone to wallpaper the cabinets into like white color. So thank God we didn't do that because that would be a lot of money and we're getting out of this house already. And this one over here, oh, this reminds me of my friend. This is from my friend Eric. And he bought this for us. Us as in the girls in the group, everybody had like different colors. And he found exactly what I wanted, which is this plain white dream catcher. Don't think I'm gonna move it with us because it is very old already and it's kind of turning brown. <laughs> and then if you pan over here, I just shove like all those camera stuff over there. And just this white table and on top is all like the giveaway things I'm waiting to announce. And over here, I have socks on my tables. My socks get like table legs. Table legs? Obviously, table legs socks table socks because i'm always moving a table by myself around this room so i just did that tip for you i guess i have one tip for you if you don't want to spend money on customizing your cupboards which is what i did i bought this off taobao and they are all just like collapsible so this is kind of like my bag organization i guess and then down here i just have some shoes over here is just like a little luxury because I use this space as our winter closet. So all of our coats are inside here and it is stuffed full. So I don't think the next house there will be space for a coat, clo coat closet. But actually I'm pretty excited in moving because I feel that this house is just a little bit too big for two of us. Obviously things might change once we have a kid. But for now, every single day I clean the house, like I'm kind of doing that as a routine. So I find it like it takes out a lot of my time. And over here, this is just like a six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six drawer shelf that I bought from Ikea. And on top, you can put stuff. Obviously, I just have a lot of things stacked up since we are going to start moving soon. And this one is like those giant drawers you know those people on youtube they always have the nine drawers the alex system and it's always like they say the drawer doesn't open all the way i don't have a problem with this drawer 
So I definitely recommend you to get this instead. And, you know, if you don't want to be like those generic ones who always has like a nine Alex drawer system in the house. I really like this. Like, for example, this third one over here, I use it as a makeup drawer and I can see everything in one glance. Now, moving on. Oh, I have some frames that luckily I haven't hung up yet. But over here, I already have two. So we're going to have to take them off. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys that even though this house is bought, I still use this kind of uh, 3M. I think that's the brand. You know, the one that just slipped off. So you don't put any drills, any holes into your wall. So I think that's always good, especially if you're like renting or having a house because you have to fill the hole after that which is a hassle this is our first ever jigsaw we bought this in disneyland in japan yeah a few years back and now luckily i haven't started on my other jigsaws yet so it's gonna be a little bit easier to move them and this one is just like an art that he bought like he commissioned to like make this love word and he just got it from some instagrammer <laughs> And then over here, I have this giant rack because I was doing some like clothing videos and this fan, which honestly I can just leave here, we're not using it. And this giant mirror, nice right? Because this black frame and this giant mirror, they're both from Ikea. So I think the mirror is pretty worth it. And moving on out over here, I can actually see the balcony through here. And that's our home tour. I wanted to document this actually mostly for us because this is our first ever house and it holds a lot of memories for us. But I'm ready to move to a smaller place and we're gonna be sad but we're not gonna be like crying having to leave this house. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully there was something like some tips that maybe uh, help you a little bit. Maybe it just got you thinking what will work for you if you are in the midst of moving. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!